Hello and welcome to this glutes and waist wedding toning workout. So we're just going to concentrate on those two areas today. I do have another workout for the arms and the back. Um, and it's all about wedding, wedding prep. Um, so if you can um, do this workout every day, you could also alternate it with the arms and back one. You could do arms and back one day, um, waist and glutes the other day. Um, then that along with any HIIT workouts, maybe a bit of cardio and obviously some sort of diet, sensible diet changes could really help um, with how toned and how confident you feel on your wedding day in your wedding dress. Um, and uh, just to let you know, I have all of those other workouts on my channel. So have a scroll through and see what you can find to help you through. So with these two pieces of equipment here, um, we are, they are all blue um, because you know the rhyme, um, something borrowed, something blue. So here we go, some blue TheraBand. You can use um, any resistance type. This is level four extra heavy. <laughs> so you may wanna go for the blue, you may wanna go down a little bit. And these are two and a half K weights. Now again, you can go down a little bit, you can go up a little bit, see how you feel today doing the workouts and use what you have at home. So we are going to start with glutes and we're going to start with the shoulder bridge and with this TheraBand here. Um, just put it aside to start with, just on the floor while we get into position. So coming down onto your back, tucking through the chin, opening out through the chest, sinking those ribs down. We're going to think about posture quite a lot um, in this workout because posture is very important um, as to how confident you feel. So stretching your fingertips down towards your toes, heels quite close in towards your bottom. We're just going to do a couple of shoulder bridges, tucking under, curling up, squeezing your glutes, curling back down again. Good. We're going to be using the abs just a little bit here as we curl up curling up keeping the ribs down squeezing your bum curling back down again if you want to be using your glutes that little bit more push your knees away so tucking under curling up pushing the knees away squeezing your bum don't go up too high and curl back down again now then we're going to take this theraband now or exercise or resistance band we're going to tuck it around the foot loop it around the hand here and we're going to have the hand hit now this is going to work that um, bicep a little bit on that side a little bit of arm work at the same time we're going to be tucking under curling up just on that one leg and then we're going to go up and down here one two we're going to do ten on each leg three i'm going to let that go a little bit four much better five six keep squeezing that bum seven eight nine ten Fantastic, curl back down, swap it over to the other leg. So took it around the foot on that side, swapping the arms, using that bicep. Tuck the chin on the other foot, bring it close towards your bum, tucking under, curling up, pushing down on that side, and off we go again, turn on this side. One, stretches the leg a little bit. Two, three, four, working both glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, and the arm of course, nine, 10. Brilliant, curling back down again, bring that one in. So we're gonna have this on the other leg. Again, using that bicep, stretch that leg up, tuck under, curl up. We're going to be coming in and push out now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, curling down, a little bit faffy, changing it over, hold on tight, get the hair out of the way, <laughs> tuck under curl up, pushing down through that side, keep up high, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, curling back down, fantastic. So we're gonna bring that away to start with and then we're gonna take one of our weights, gonna be on our side. So we're gonna do some clam exercises on the side for the glute mead, which is the side bum here. I'd like you to push down through this hand, tuck that bottom hip back, tuck your ribs under, scoop that tummy in, hand on the top here propped hand, this, this hand propped with your head and then we're going to be lifting that knee here don't let the top hip rock back keep it in line keep your hips stacked 
using your abs, five. Keep that weight on, six. Using these abs here, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to try and do 20 here. Brilliant. Should feel those glutes working. Nine. Ten, and then we're going to bring the feet up and we're going to do another 20. Now you can come up onto that elbow if you want to. Here, just changes the position slightly, but don't collapse through that arm. Three, using your waist. Four, five, six. You can use your abs at the same time. Eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Another ten. Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. See, easy. Drop the bottom leg down and just ten forwards and backwards here. It's quite difficult. Two, three, keep breathing. Four, fab for the glutes though. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing. Just got to do that on the other side. <laughs> so swapping round. Stuck in the bush. <laughs> Good. Round to the other side. Stay down to start with. Tuck that bottom hip back. Um, weight on the knee. Scoop in through the lower tummy. Then lifting that knee. Two, three, four. Drop the weight if it gets hard and carry on. That's the trick with all of these Pilates type exercises. Drop the weight and carry on. Another ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet up. So something Meghan Markle said before her wedding is she snatches 15 minutes per day to exercise. If she can't get a big session in, it all builds up, which is how I see things. You're going to be super busy planning and preparing for a wedding. So snatching those 15 minutes is super important. Gosh, I've lost count there. Let's do another 10. <laughs> if in doubt, do another 10. Eight, nine, 10. Brilliant. Feet, bottom foot down, top one forwards and backwards. One, two, keep those abs strong. Come up onto the elbow. Forgot. Three, four, too much wedding talk. Six, keep using your abs. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. So that's your glutes done for now. If you can sit up, cross your legs and lean forwards into it, then fantastic. Good work. So we're going to move on to a little bit more waist toning. So if you can come back here. Do a lot of rotation work because that uses these muscles that wrap around through the waist as long as the, as well as the deep abdominals that wrap around like a corset muscle. So the best thing to do is to switch on those deep abdominals before you do anything. So if you tuck the chin, open the chest, sink those ribs down, find the little arch in the back. As long as you've got that little arch in the back, which is called the neutral pelvis, you will be working those deep abdominals that scoop around like a corset just what we need. So tighten through the pelvic floor to activate those. Lift and scoop up through the pelvic floor. Not a big squeeze, just a lift and scoop. Think a little bit about drawing in through that lower tummy. Now we're going to bring the legs up one at a time. The right leg comes up, the ribs draw down, the tummy scoops in, you pick up the other one and then we're going to be taking the legs over to the side. So it's quite nice to have your arms out to the side here. Take the legs over and back to the middle. Pick up through the hip, pull the hip back down again. So all of these are training you to draw in that lower tummy. Draw in and down. Don't just rely on those spanks. <laughs> Use some of the muscles to draw in and down. Good. Brilliant. So these rotational ones, like I say, fantastic for that waist. Have another ten. Two. 
I'm going to make this little waist section quite intensive just to really keep those muscles working and give them some endurance. One more each side. Brilliant. I'm going to make you keep those legs up. If you can't, do have a rest. But if you can, keep those legs up as long as the back isn't hurting. And then we're going to have the arms up in front of us. We're going to do a dead bug. Always thinking about drawing in through here. Ribs down, scooped in, little arch in the back. Opposite arm and leg out. Good. Six. Three. And as the arm lifts up, don't let the ribs come up. Squeeze the bum as you stretch the leg out. Tighten your thigh. Ten more. <laughs> Two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, legs down, hands behind your back. Crunch. So important if we do it well. Now you can see if I crunch of my back, my tummy pushes out. Not as attractive. <laughs> Keep that little arch in the back and draw in your tummy as you crunch. Do 30. Keep the ribs. Four. Five. Keep drawing in. Six. Seven. <laughs> Break if you want to. Fingertips. Yeah. Four. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Fantastic. So a few more for the waist here. It's going to be side plank. So there's various options for this side plank. You can be on the knees and up to the side here. You can be on um, the feet and the elbow, be up to the side. And if your wrists are okay, that full side position. But one foot is in front of the other, if you can see there. Good. Now I'm going to grab a weight. It's completely up to you. I'm really honest, I haven't done these with the two and a half yet. So if I wobble and fall over, then my fault. <laughs> but we're going to do 10 each side. So you're going to be coming up into that side plank. Stretch up with that weight. And back up again. Let's do 10. Two. Four. Not too bad. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Fantastic. Good for the arms as well and the shoulders. Let's go to the other side. One leg in front of the other. Good. Pushing up into that side plank. Everything's strong. Off we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep your abs strong. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to have to make you do one more each side of those. Um, a little bit too easy. <laughs> So off we go. You can do these without a weight, of course, as well. So coming up into that side plank, stretching up with that arm. Go. One, keep the arm strong. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's about enough, though, two sets, isn't it? Off we go, other side, hand out, legs out, arm up, off we go, one, two, draw in your tummy, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, great, so fantastic, there you go, there's your um, bum and waist, 
toning workouts um, for wedding prep. Like I say, HIIT workouts, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of a sensible adjustment of your diet. And you'll be walking down that old posture, perfect, feeling super duper confident. Um, little and often, a little bit every day, really important. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel to find all of those other HIIT workouts and posture exercises. Um, and if you want to be more inspired, then um, subscribe or follow me on Instagram, just at Kim Saha. Um, make sure you like this workout and give me a quick comment in the comment box. And good luck.